No. Alrighty, boys and girls, here we go into the knife round. I can't believe we're actually casting some Counter-Strike. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. It's a beautiful thing. And Elevate, actually, is Professor Chaos a part of their roster? Because uh, uh, I didn't. that's something I was unaware of here. Uh, yeah, I actually didn't know that before just now. I haven't, I don't think they've dropped Rush from what I know. He is the one missing from the server, but, I mean, it, it might be something because the match was so delayed that they needed to get a backup, someone on the roster to play, so, uh, I'm not sure. I'll try and figure that out to be out to really quick for you. Yeah, please do, because it's definitely interesting to see that. Professor Chaos, known for his hybrid abilities, his rifling is definitely on point, and his opping has always been something, uh, something that's kind of been underrated. Nobody's stabbing the walls. You can't really hear the knife sounds. I was gonna say it all sounded the same to me. Oh wait! Somebody stabbed the wall. Of course, of course. <laughs> just, just to make this night go the opposite direction that you wanted to. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, we are going to see Affinity picking up the knife round. They're going to be starting on the CT side, so definitely a uh, definitely bodes well for them because, as I've said before, this map has always been notoriously CT side all the way through 1.6, even in the source days. It was a um, pretty solid CT side, you know, 11-4, half, 12-3, even sometimes in 1.6, and the early renditions of this map have been heavily CT sided as well. We've seen 14-1 halves, almost reminiscent of Nuke, so... Again, quick roster rundown for you guys. Affinity going to be on the CT side. That's Abe, Fox, Aria, Davey, and Jason R. Facing off against Roka, XP3, Professor Chaos, Desi, and Storm. Why don't you take us away, Moses? Give me a chance to uh, rest my vocal cords. Catch your breath. Last time we saw this threat, it was uh, Elevate on, on Train. They actually did a, a split through the outside. They executed outside and ran into CT spot over towards B. This time it looks like they're going heavy B. Desi's the only one lurking over towards Alley. He takes a little bit of damage, but... Smoke just goes down lower ramp from the side of Affinity, so things are slowing down. XP3 is going to try and peer to the bomb site. He does get spotted by Arya, so now he knows what's coming. There's the smoke. A nade does a lot of damage. Arya just taking out so much health out of these Elevate players. They are going to make it into the bomb site, though. And look at Arya pushing through the smoke. He grabs one, he grabs two. Great round from him. So much devastation is caused, and even Roka goes down, so Arya's got four kills at the moment. He's going to look for that ace. And it's just Desi left, and Arya is hunting it. Nope, denied. Desi's going to be able to find the face of him with that Glock. But now coming around on the flank, Desi's got it all to do, and Abe is going to be able to clean him up. So what a power round from Arya. That nade on the lower ramp, absolutely brutal on to Elevate. As they tried to get into that bomb site, they didn't even get the bomb plant. What a play from him, pushing through the smoke at the right time, getting those flank kills, picking up a quad in the round. And Affinity off to a solid start so far. Yeah, a really solid start off the back of Arya. He, he's, he's, he likes to make those plays. He likes to run through smokes. He's kind of the playmaker for his squad. He's been like that uh, on all the rosters he's been with. And even once he gets an AWP and a, and a scout, uh, it's going to be dangerous on this map for Elevate. So they've got to be very careful this time. They just rush outside. No armor, no investment whatsoever. And they're just getting mowed down at the moment by Fox and Abe. And even Jason R chiming in for one. And zero kills go the way of Elevate. And almost zero damage goes the way of Elevate, too. They only chipped away 15 points of health off of the combined two players. Davey's got two assists to his name. No frags just yet, but those assists, every bit as important as the kills. Although he does have the SMG, it would have been nice to put that money in the bank from the, uh, the what is it, $800 per kill or $600 per kill from that? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the, the, just you're right. He, huge building of the bank. And you mentioned it, too. They didn't get the bomb plan on Pistron. Not even close that round. So, no bonus money going the way of Elevate. That's why they're just full saving here. And again, they're just going to push on out. And Davey's going to be able to chime in with one early in this round. <laughs> Trying to make it happen. Fox is going to find one. Abe chimes in. Jason R with the scout outside is going to find one. And Davey is going to make it a double on the round. So, that is going to be money in the bank for him for the next round. And there, listen, Abe swiping the walls. Do you hear it? Yeah, I did, actually. Awful! Yeah, that is a little weak. Gaben, why? <laughs> why have you forsaken us? So all AK is on the side of uh, on the side of Elevate at the moment. Storm hasn't bought up yet, but if he picks up an AWP, that would surprise me first of all. But he is going to go with the AK-47. So it's only going to be Arya with the op, and he's actually going to play it upper, uh, upper inside, and he's going to be aggressive with it. But Elevate hasn't made any move towards the White Halls. And again, we actually see Fox going up and uh, residing in the Heaven area. The smoke's come out over the walls. It is going to be an outside train yard hit. They are going to go ahead and push up. Jason R's got himself into a good position behind this train. To try to pick off a couple as they push in. He doesn't hear the guy up on top, but he might be able to flank out Professor Chaos, who's over here, but he does manage to get taken out. Davey's going to go down as well. Fox with the only frag for the CTs thus far in that area, but Abe is going to be able to chime in onto Roka, and that's going to leave it in a two versus three. Abe giving up his position here, and he gets headshot 
immediately Professor Chaos. Nice shot from him, two ver or one versus three now. Storm coming around from the Ivy, a spot that he has been known to lurk all through the his illustrious career. We'll see if he can get it done here. Peeking out, he's got one over by the E-Box. He's not going to be able to find him just yet. That's Professor Chaos. Bomb planted by XP3 in the front side of the train. So they've got all avenues of attack kind of locked down here. Flashbang over the top, nade to follow. Now is going to smoke it off and try to get himself out of dodge. Hang on to that AWP for another day. And uh, he's got a lot of time to play with, so he's going to bide his time behind the smoke. They are jumping up and over. XP3, nice little... Uh, Nice little jump there to get himself into a good position here to try to take down Ari. He's going to spot the gun barrel, gets the frag on XP3, so it's not all for nothing. But it is going to be a one versus two, but we will see Elevate picking up the first gun round, and it is an important round to start getting that momentum yeah. on their terrorist side. Yeah, and keeping the economy away from Affinity, not let him able to rebuy those AWPs if it comes down to that. That was actually very well executed. They threw the smokes out, but didn't just charge out. Uh, you know, heedlessly. They played it very cautious. They played around their own smokes and found their picks. Professor Chaos with two nice entries. Uh, and while we're watching this match, guys, just a reminder, we do have the, the Cloud9 method matches on twitch.tv slash ESCA2. And also at the moment, the one match we have going on that's not being streamed is Nihilum versus Mousepaz. And Mousepaz is up 4-1 to one on the terrorist side of cash in that matchup. So again, we're going to see a full gun round coming out. They do pick up some rifles here on the CT side. It's only going to be Jason R with a limited buy. The rest of them did manage to full buy onto the M4A1S. We'll see what they have for us. XP3 trying to bide his time and make his way out from a or T main. He's going to go ahead and push on out. That Molly does a little bit of damage to him, but it's not going to be too much to push him back. But stop talking. Stop talking. Thank you. What, what happened? Your mic blew up. Oh, come on, man. You're back now. Apologies, folks. Apologies, indeed. But again, we are going to see the opening damage go the way of, uh, well, it's on the elevate side right now. Arya did get tagged up a little bit. From an AK-47, they are still trying to creep their way out into the outside train yard. Roke is going to be at the point here. Abe is going to come under contention. He's going to get crossfired in a second. Does manage to find the first one, but that player should be pushing out from Ivy. Hasn't made his way out, but Jason are going to capitalize. Storm finally coming out and peeking. Desi, does. oh, what a shot from Desi. It's just a shame it was on his own teammate. Finds Arya as well, though, so he picks up a double. Although it's all for naught at this point. Jason are flanking around the side. Oh, Desi does pick up a another kill, so... Bringing it down to a two versus one. Fox still over by the Heaven Ladder. <clears throat> trying to make a go at this one is Desi. He's got 25 seconds. Smokes off the bomb site. Still trying to get that bomb and get that down. Fakes the plant. Pushes on around. He's not going to spot out Heaven. And Fox is going to capitalize on that. Takes him out. So another round on the board for Affinity. That's going to reset the money on Elevate's side. Yeah, and that's harsh. That, that's exactly what you don't want to have happen. On a map like this that can be so one-sided at times, you have to have good control of your economy. So Elevate gets reset very, very early on. They do have some They do have some decent money. I would have liked to see Desi just plant there. I know he's trying to go for the win, but get some bonus money for your squad this early on in the match. But 4-1 to one for Avinity, and they still have that AWP. This time it's not on Arya. It's going to be on Jason R coming into the outside. But Elevate on a full save looks more like they're heading fully into inner. And that might be exactly what they need to do, just bum rush their way in, and Desi opens it up with a nice deagle headshot, and he's going to push on down and get spotted just on the other side of the smoke, and Arya is going to be able to spray him out. And Molotov is going to do a little bit of damage as well. Professor Chaos going to bide his time, get himself out of dodge, and he does pick up an AK for his troubles as well, so that could be a tide turner in this round. They have rotated one player over towards the inside bomb site. That is Fox. Jason R with the AWP is going to be holding by the uh, CT connector. Or Z There's Hall. There's such a heavy lean at the moment on the defense for the inside. Jason R playing in connector and Fox as well. Fox and Arya both spotting inside from very, very far back. So Professor Chaos with this AK-47 is going to have to do something to open it up if this is where they want to go. 50 seconds left. They have no utility whatsoever. It's all going to be up to his first shot. Let's see whether or not he can hit it. He's got Ari at the back side of the bomb train. He's actually going to be by where Pop Dog used to be. He's going to spray him down. One, two, three. Looking for the last one. Nope. Denied the ace once again. And now it's going to be XP3 trying to make something happen. The aim punch is going to pretty much destroy him there. And Fox is going to clean that one up. So another solid hold inside from Aria picking up another quad. He's sitting at 9-3. and three. Yeah, and he eliminated the AK-47 right out of Professor Chaos. The very first one he shot in the head. So that pretty much denied any chance of a trade frag or a rebuttal from Elevate there on that round. But it was just an eco, so no big deal. This round, all five bought up AK-47s. Opiates straighted over to Arya instead of onto Jason R. That's kind of curious. They're going back and forth with this AWP. So we'll see what they decide to do with it this round. Arya is going to have it in hand. Jason R had it last time. And again, heavy emphasis 
on the white halls up near the ladder room for the terrorist side, and it looks like it is going to be fielding towards another inside hit. Davey playing aggressively upper inner. Aria in a familiar spot behind Pop Dog and lower. And we'll see whether or not they can execute cleanly this time. But this time they actually have two players in the inside bomb site. I believe last round they played one a little bit too aggressively, and Davey's going to be able to chime in with first blood this round as he takes down XP3. Nice headshot from him, biding his time around the corner, catching him completely unawares. Smokes come out from the CT side. That's a good smoke from Davey as well. They just smoked off the sidewalk. But Aria caught out. Professor Chaos sprays him down. Gets a second as well. The inside bomb site is open. Abe finds one outside. That's Desi the Lurker. He's going to go down. And now Professor Chaos getting very aggressive inside. is going to get caught out by Fox. So that man advantage just completely nullified here by the affinity side. Bomb is going to be attempted to be planted here. Abe's going to be on the flank. Storm pushing up is going to be able to catch out one. I think he spotted the head of Fox up top. Roke is going to find him. And now it's all on Abe on the big flank. Can he make it happen coming down the main ramp? That flashbang is going to be a good one. But Roka not peeking, biding his time. He's going to be able to push right up on him. He could clutch this one out. Doesn't find it. Six HP for Roka, but they get the job done. Elevate gets their second and the seventh. Yeah, and that's the second gun round that elevates one off the back of two entry for X from Professor Chaos. Doing some huge things for these guys standing in right now. Big He's plays from him just walking out upper and getting those frags. Yeah, well, they rotated so far off of upper inner and had two players watching lower because of that smoke on sidewalk that it just completely pulled their attention off of that area, and he was just able to walk right out on him. What a play from him. Yeah, I feel like there had to have been miscommunication because Davey actually tried to lurk right behind that smoke, and I don't think he told his teammate what he was doing properly, but the communication didn't quite get there because he got picked off from upper. No one was really watching it. Now look at this aggressive play from Affinity on the eco round. So many players pushing up to mid. Elevate's going to have to be very, very careful coming out of here. Taking it very slowly at the moment, but here it comes. Everyone's lined up there. There's three P250s, five sevens. Abe takes out one Arya as well. But finally, the AKs respond on Professor Chaos. But this is actually going the entire way of affinity right now. Very well done. It's just Storm left in a one on two. Yeah, and Jason R's got to play this smart. Not going to give up his position up on top of the train there. Falls back and bides his time. Storm has to recover that bomb. He's going to get flashed out. Good use of the flashbangs that they've salvaged. Abe's going to come under point, and he's going to get taken down. And, oh, Jason R does get it done from the top of the train. The patience from Jason R not to overexert himself in that area. He's going to be able to steal away another round for Affinity 6-2. to two. Yeah, that's that's a brutal round to lose. I mean, that's they broke the economy of Affinity. That's exactly what you want. They had a great chance to get some rounds on the board early, and they just give it right back. Nice strategy from Affinity, just quietly creeping up and walking out, waiting for the execute, and the trades all went their favor. None of those AK-47s were able to mow down multiple members, so Affinity brings it right back to Elevate. And again, it is going to be another save round here for the Elevate side, and they're going to go a little bit more aggressive towards the inside again, that bomb rotating its way through the brown halls towards the white halls. And we'll see whether or not they can actually make it happen. Aria, very aggressive AWP shot off the mark. Does get wall banged down, but it's okay. It's only 2 HP. And look at the heavy... And look at how much they rotated already from the CT side. They pulled two members all the way over in that area. And look at Abe. He's got a one-way smoke here. He might be able to spot out Storm. And he does. Drops the bomb carrier. And that's a big frag to open the round up. Jason R is going to chime in with one. Falling off the top. He gets dink, but he manages to take him down. And Fox is going to clean things up with the last two. And another clean round there from Affinity. Yeah, a uh, very clean round, and that's very crucial to have all five members survive, build up that economy. Something we see on this map pretty often. I mean, no surprise now that it's back. It was very popular in the older version is the auto sniper on the CT side. is just so incredibly powerful once again. So building up that economy is going to let them transition over to that later on in this half. And again, we're going to see whether or not the CT side can capitalize on this busted economy from Elevate. Again, you're going to have only a Galil in the hands of Professor Chaos and Jason Arnout with the AWP playing aggressive outside. So again, they continue to swap that rifle around. And A play behind E-Box is going to be able to find one. He's going to get traded out immediately afterwards. But Fox again from heaven. Going to find one. Jason R drops the bomb carrier. And already this offensive from the Elevate side is getting shut down. Nice shot from Storm. He's going to find one and two. Fox! Did manage to take down XP3, so it's going to be a one versus two, and he's got to get a quad to clutch this one out. Arya is going to be there. Davey's going to be there, and he's getting shot from every angle imaginable. He's managed to find another one. And somehow <laughs> Storm is still alive. Yeah, now on a one-on-one, -on -one, and this is where Storm thrives, although with only 12 HP, he's at a huge disadvantage here. Davey's working his way around the bomb, the bomb train, but Storm does have a chance to pick it up. He's got 45 seconds to work with as well. They just barely miss each other, and Davey hits the shot. 
Unfortunately, Storm not able to get it done and Elevate still only two rounds to their name as we move forward into the 11th now. That was a really close round by Storm. I mean, to connect that spray and then in that one-on-one, -on -one, he actually got about three or four bullets off. He had a chance to just win that cleanly with a nice headshot, but couldn't afford to miss one bullet there, and he does, and Davey takes advantage. And we're actually currently being told that Mouse Spaz is beating Nihilum right now 7-3. to three. Yeah, that's a little match update for you guys there. That's very surprising at the moment, and they're on the T side of cash. Well, I told you, Mouse Spaz, they play up to the caliber of the top teams, but they can't bring it to the lower tier teams. So they might be able to steal away another victory off of one of the one of the higher seeded teams in North American CS. But right now the action is going on outside. Abe managed to get the reload in. Fox is going to be there to bail him out. He's going to pick up two of his own, and that's going to leave Desi all by himself. Jason R sweeps him under the rug. Nine to two now for Affinity. Yeah, and the real issue is just Elevate been reset twice now. If they, I mean, especially that second time on the anti-eco, they don't get reset there. They've got three, maybe four rounds, and they had some money built up to make some to try and fight back in these rounds. But at the moment, with such a bruised economy, having a tough time. Once again, we haven't seen AWP out of anyone on Elevate on this terror side, and you know that's something we talked about earlier. Was XP3 that op? How is he feeling with it today? Because he's a very streaky opper, and when they need to have one, can he rise to the occasion? And he's obviously not feeling like he can tonight. Alright, so once again, it's going to be actually, look at the aggression going over towards the Ivy this time. They've decided that, hey, we've kind of been able to walk out Ivy the last couple of rounds. Storm's been very successful lurking his way out, but they throw a flashbang early to try to get that peak. That might alert Jason R to that position over there, but he's not turning around. They're going to go ahead and smoke it off and try to push on through. Jason R comes around the corner. A little bit too aggressive for his own good there. Desi's going to be able to take him down with the AK-47 spray and no damage being done just yet. But Arya playing in front of this Ivy train. I don't even know what was that. Three lane, I believe it is, outside or four lane. It's going to be able to find that. I'm sorry, I'm old school with my calls. There used to be three lanes outside and two lanes inside, so that would be three lane. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> Abe's going to be able to spot out one. He's going to get taken down, though. Roka repeaks. And now we're down to a one versus two. The bomb, though, is all the way down to the bottom of the steps in Whitehall, and Arya and Davy are in that position, so almost an impossible round here for Roka to pick up. Yeah, they were they were trying to split split inner. It was that pistol round they did on their last train match was he's sending sending multiple in alley and go through CT spawn and meet up inside and pinch it. Unfortunately, Davy with an aggressive position is able to take down Desi, who had the bomb, and just ruins everything. So now there's really not even a chance for Roka to do much. He might just want to save this gun out. But Elevate's going to start needing, I mean, they need to grab at least two of these last three to give himself a chance, give him a window of opportunity. Roka's going to go for it. He does spot one out. Davy with a nice pop flash. He could get away, but I don't think he has time to make it to the bomb site and plant. No, he absolutely does not. So that's going to be the round for Affinity. So again, we're going to be seeing that. Nope, not... Oh, and he dies after the war, after the whole thing is said and done. <laughs> yeah, that's, so. uh, that's such a really bad play there. And look at that. Only $600 for him for the next round, so very desperate situation. He's going to be forced to buy up a pistol of some sort, as the rest of his team is going to be on some rifles here. Yeah, this is... Already has got his op sale. We actually haven't... He's been playing inside, and while he's had some great rounds, that pistol round was huge, but... Haven't heard too much out of this AWP all there. That knife sound into the wall is just ugly. I know, I told you, man. It's really just... Well, it's bumming me out, bro. It sounds like somebody's headbutting the brick. All right, so once again, we're going to see Storm playing over here by Ivy. This is basically the default strategy that we've seen from Elevate, and it just hasn't worked out. XP3 is going to catch one out, though. Davey getting a little aggressive from the inner lower. Not going to be able to find anything. Storm flashing his way through. He's going to get caught out. Jason R biding his time. This time, not pushing any smokes unnecessarily. But Roka and Professor Chaos going to be able to chime in with a couple. Desi's going to find one. The first good-looking round here on a gun round for Elevate. Yeah, they've got to be careful. He does have the AWP. Desi on top of a train is in the wide open. Spots oh, and the head, Roka. but misses the shot. He pulled yeah. out a nade just at the wrong time, and Desi goes down. No bomb plant as of yet, and the 5-7 comes out, chips away. Roka very, very low now. Molly around the corner. Roka's going to have to haul ass out of that area, and now he's going to go for the aggressive play. And Arya actually dropped his rifle, goes for the M4. He's going to pick that one up, so we are going to have the rifle-on-rifle -rifle battle. Roka, here's the reload. He doesn't go for it, and Arya pre-fires him around the corner and takes him out. Smart play from Arya. I really thought Roka heard that reload. He had him. He had him zoned in for sure. But just to come around pre-firing, that's a, that's such a risky play. If he's not there and you give away your position and everything like that, gives him a chance to pounce out. But works out for him with that uh, with that pre-fire. So again, we're going to see another gun round from Elevate, but they just can't string anything together. The best looking round that they've had in a gun round in a long time got clutched out by Arya in a one v two. 
But again, he doesn't have the AWP this round, so they are resigned to five rifles on the CT side, and it looks like they are going to get aggressive towards Enter again on the Elevate side. They had success before. Can they capitalize again? Davey in the familiar position in the Inner Upper. Let's see whether or not he can lock it down again with that M4. If he gets over-aggressive here, they might make him pay. And Arya, very aggressive inside. Look at that one-way smoke. He's going to be spotting for the feet to go around the corner. He might be able to catch out XP3 as he's pushing through Upper. Nope, XP3 gets the better of him. The smoke backfires. And now they're going to go ahead and push on around. Davey finds one. But the remaining four have all worked their way down in towards the bomb site. That's a missed flash. And he's going to spray out. Roka comes around the corner, takes him down. Meanwhile, Professor Chaos is going to find Fox. And now we're down to Abe and Jason R. And in the 14th round we go. Finally a bomb plant for the Elevate side. Abe goes down. Jason R goes down. Good spray control from Desi. And three rounds now on the board for Elevate. Yeah, they, they really they really need this fourth one as well. They need some room to work with on the CT side. They need, you know, whether it be the pistol round or just some other round, they need they need to be able to give some up here and there. So that's a crucial round to win for them. And if they can get to four, they'll have a chance going into the second half. I think three rounds is just too much to ask for a comeback on the CT side. I agree with that. They definitely need a fourth round here. Talking about the Elevate side, they do salvage a couple of rifles from the last round, so they are on a... Full buy here, and it is going to be a full arsenal on the CT side as well. Again, no AWP in play. But again, we're going to see a little bit of aggression going towards outside this time. Yeah, and here are those Anders smoke onto the bomb train. A little bit of a line set up for them to be able to progress onto it, but none of them have actually committed. There's a Molotov in the choke point, so Elevate forced to slow down, and now those, they don't have the time to get to the bomb site before those smokes fade, so a nice defense from Affinity. And again, just showing you guys the smoke wall real fast. We're back to the action, just waiting for the opening frags to come out. Desi is outside on top of one of the trains. He doesn't realize the fox is up in heaven. He's going to be able to spot him out. Nice spray down. He's going to be able to find one. He didn't spot Abe on the bomb train. Maybe he did now. No, he's going to come around the corner, and Abe's going to be able to get him down. Storm there for the trade. Storm going to be looking for another one. That's Jason R at the backside of Ivy. Tapping away. He's going to find that frag as well. So the push towards outside now. Arya coming through Z. He's just going to push right on through. He might be able to get the bomb down. Unfortunately, it was just a hair too late, and that bomb does go down. It's going to be all on Davian in 1v3 now. So we should see Elevate picking up their fourth round of the half going into the second half at 11-4. But they definitely yeah. need this pistol round moving forward. And actually a really cool strategy from them as, uh, as Davy. They, they now spawn him in connector, so he doesn't really have any chance. He will get one, but they can just play for the bomb, and they're even going to molly it off. So this round is going to go the way of Elevate. And what they did there, they, they just sent two people out. They had the bomb and one other player above ladder. They sent two people out the main choke point. Maybe he does get one. He gets a second one, but loses anyways. But sent two people out that main choke point just to see what they can get. If the kills went their way, then they would hit outside. If they didn't go their way, they would have used it as a fake and tried to hit the inner bomb site. And because the entries went the way of Elevate going outside, uh, the bomb and one other player just dropped on ladder and hit, hit that outside bomb site with them. Okay, so after being told, quick score update for you guys that are watching this stream. Nihilum ended up coming back in the half and won it 8-7. to seven. And at halftime for the Cloud9 Method game, which is also on train, it's 12-3 to three in favor of Cloud9. Yeah, that one's kind of, kind of what we, what we yeah, well. kind of what we expect there, but the Nihilum match a little bit closer than I uh, thought it might have been. Yeah, no, it definitely, definitely is. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Nice performance by Mousepass. We've seen it from him in the past, and I mean, you mentioned it too. It's just a matter of them putting it together against some of the higher tier teams and the lower tier, like just coming in and bringing that same performance every night. Haven't been able to do it. But this is such a crucial round for Elevate here, this pistol round. Desi is playing inside for him, and Desi's a great inside player on this map. And at the moment, there's four Elevate players skewed towards the outside. So we're going to see that opening bit of damage. Actually, a little bit of an exchange going there, but Affinity is just going to push on out outside. Roka is going to come under fire. Arya is going to find that XP3. Gets in on one. And still playing on the backside of the original bomb train. They're still chipping away. Fox goes down. Arya as well. Jason R to retort. Desi on the flank. Comes around from the ladder room and is able to find one as well. And Storm with the final one. So a much-needed pistol round victory for Elevate. They should be able to get back to an 11-7 scoreline, barring any craziness from Affinity. And this is something we're going to have to watch for from Desi throughout this half. He's a player who likes to take these gamble pushes to get quick flanks or to get huge flanks. And at some point, I mean, he just did it that round once the execute came in, just quick flank down ladder and was able to chime in and support the outside players. But even on the gun rounds, he's going to go for some of those aggressive pushes that'll give him those flanking opportunities. And that's somewhere where Affinity can find a way to punish him and put him down a man early on. 
So again, we're going to see the Eco round coming out from Affinity. They do pick up a Desert Eagle and a couple of P250s. Whilst the rest of them have just Glocks in hand, they're going to be going for this inside play, and that's going to be Desi with an MP9. Can he? Does he have enough bullets to make this happen? They're going to smoke out lower ramp. And look at his smoke that he actually threw. So he's going to play right on top of this. It's a little bit bloomed too far in front. He drops a flashbang. That's off the mark. But the nade damage that came out is going to just put him in a position to clean house. Picks up three. Going to go right up above. But XP3 with the scouts going to be able to clean up another one. And Storm with the final. So elevate a five-man stand. And again, no frags on the board here for the affinity side. So it's going to be another full save from them. Yeah, not even that bomb plan. Desi with a nice play to stop it. He even muffed the flash on the bomb train. But able to just mow him down with that MP9. So much money going his way. All part of the plan. And they're being they're being cautious. They actually upgraded here. They don't want to see a third round buy come out and just kind of uh, and bite them a little bit. So they upgraded those FAMAS and even the Colts and the XP3 still has that scout to work with. And it looks like Affinity 5 smokes. They're just going to set up for a bomb plant outside, inside the smoke. And we'll see where Jason R decides to toss this smoke outside. He's lining it up. He's up on top of the old uh, garbage bin outside. Here go the smokes. And they're going to be landing all the way over in the bomb site. So again, they're throwing that smoke wall, the Anders smoke wall, as we can go ahead and dub it. Professor Chaos and Roka, though, going to shut them down outside. All five unanimous frags coming out. Three for Roka, two for Professor Chaos, and they clean house. Yeah, and Professor Chaos actually made a really, really smart play there. Instead of waiting behind the smoke, he actually pushes out in front of it, trusting Roka playing close up to ladder room to support him if anyone swings wide there. Uh, so they're able to just mow that down. They don't even let the plant be an option. And now you see XB3 upgrading to that AWP that we didn't see out of him in the whole first half. And again, a quick score update for you guys. Mouse Spaz takes the pistol round in the second half. They are now up over Nihilum 10 to 8. So good matchup being played right there. But here we go with the first gun round, and Fox going to draw first blood coming around from the ladder room, and they're already pushing up towards Ivy, and Storm might get caught out here. He does spam away, but he is going to go down, and Fox finds XP3, so a two-on-five already in this round. The bomb is planted, and it looks like a CT side save. Yeah, there should actually be a hunt for the terrorists. At least two to three players should be going after this, and you already see Davies creeping up. He gets spotted out, but now he's got the intel. Now you should see more terrorist players starting to converge. Desi's all the way back towards CT spawn. He's going to try and catch out Jason R as Professor Chaos comes to meet up with him. And he is going to get that kill. Doesn't check it out. And that might cause Affinity to slow down on this hunt. They don't want to lose any of these guns. They don't have an established economy. And that's actually a huge save for Elevate. They can drop one of those guns and they'll also be able to get an AWP in XP3's hands if they still want it. Yeah, lots of money on four of their players. XP3 is the only one who's low. Because he's sitting at 8 and 17 right now, but they are going to be able to drop some rifles. Let's see if they do pick up an AWP to toss over to XP3. David, there's the AWP, and it gets tossed down the line. XP3 is going to be boasting at this round, so we'll see what they do to bolster their defenses. But Arya picks up the AWP on the, C on the terrorist side, something that we really didn't see in the first half from Elevate. No AWPs being bought from them, maybe opting to go for just the AK-47, just the automatic rifles. So we will be seeing the AWP in the hands of Arya. Pop flash over the top actually catches Arya out a little bit. But Abe already pushed out. He's going to find one. Storm around the corner. He's going to go down. Professor Chaos found the lone frag for the CTs. Now Roka with a double. Roka burns alive, though, so it's down to a two versus two. Make that a two versus one as Professor Chaos chimes in yet again. And Desi on top of bomb train cleans up Davey. So a good recovery from Elevate, and that should put Affinity on the save. Well, a huge win from Elevate because that would have broken their economy if they ended up losing it. They did salvage the AWP, but one thing we have to watch out for, that was really, really bad management of these lanes of the train. Abe was able to push up just so incredibly quickly and catch XP3 and storm off guard. Uh, Fox did it in the first gun round, was able to just push out, swing right up these lanes. So Elevate's got to get better eyes on that or maybe throw some Molotovs or some nades to, to kind of uh, deter them from just aggressively pushing up so quickly. So now we're going to see a quick IV play from the terrorist side. They're already pushed out through mid, so they've got a little bit of control over here towards where the old hell was. But Roka's going to be able to find one. Abe pushing around the corner might catch out Storm, and he does. So it's a one-for-one -one trade now. Not favoring either side, but Roka pushes on around, finds another one. XP3 with the AWP finds another. Davy chimes in with one on to Professor Chaos, so it's a two versus one. Very risky play here for the remainder of the CT side. They're both over here in ladder room, and Roka's going to find a fourth. So a big round on the outside bomb site for Roka as he locks it down, and that's going to be another round for Elevate. Nine to 12 now. We're within three. 
Yeah, but all these kills coming through on that anti-eco for Affinity, that's something that Elevate wasn't able to do, so, I mean, it's going to hurt their economy a little bit. Desi, they didn't they didn't even manage to save it, just the AWP, so they've got to drop one uh, for XP3, and that's a gun that he hasn't been effective with quite yet. They might want to go away from that pretty soon if, if Affinity's going to keep countering it like this, because that's a, that's a lot of money to be investing in something that's not getting you any productivity. So again, we're going to see him get a little bit aggressive inside. Professor Chaos is going to come under fire, but not before Roka and Desi shut down that push. Abe comes around through the molly. He's going to go down, so another solid-looking round here from the CT side. Yeah, they needed this. Nicely done by, by Desi. Pushed up top. He almost missed the kill, but he ends up getting it. That baits them down to come into lower very, very quickly to try and circle around behind him, but Professor Chaos is there to stop him. And now, look, there's really nothing to do. Arya was trying to be aggressive outside to find a pick, and oh, Davey, nice shot on XP3. There goes the AWP. It's just the bomb carrier left, but not much for him to do here. And Roka has been an absolute monster on this outside bomb, ya uh, bomb yard, too. Train yard, bomb yard. Hey, it's, it's set up perfectly for him. It's just so many play so many angles to just have these straight-up gun battles. Those are fights that Roka likes to take. You think of him long at dust, too. I mean, just get them in the open and win the gunfight. Roka's so good at that, especially with all the cover it provides to find new angles. So again, it's going to be all down to Jason R just trying to hold on to his rifle for the time being. He is going to push outside to the outside yard. That's going to leave Roka in a good position to try to push out, and he does clean up another one. Another triple on the round for Roka, who's sitting at 18 and 16 right now for his team top. Fragging across the board, Desi right behind him with 17, and Professor Chaos the stand-in doing work as well, 14 and 14. He has been a uh, pretty solid stand-in for Elevate. Well, the crucial thing that he's done so far is, I mean, he had a, he had that play in the second round and third round to stop the plant in this half, but it was two entries on two separate rounds in the in the first half when they were terrorists that got them two of their four rounds. So he's had some great impact on this match. And again, we're going to be seeing an eco rush going straight down inside, and Desi, he's going to be there to try to hold it down. He finds one, finds two. Not going to be able to get Abe before he crosses into the site, but peeks out. Abe, nice shot onto him, so it's a two-for-one. Roka finds Abe. Now Molly, oh, followed by the nade Aria. He had nothing to do there except get that bomb down, but it's a successful eco round here for the affinity side. They do get the bomb plant, so that's money in the bank, and we'll see them have a full buy in the next round. Yeah, but this defense for Elevate looking very, very solid at the moment. It seems shaky at, at times, but they seem to have locked some things down. Affinity, I'd expect them, they've gone away from it. What, what got them a little bit of success on their gun rounds, some entry success, and even on their eco, is getting players down these train lanes very, very quickly behind the smokes, using them for cover, using them to advance very aggressively, and catching Elevate off guard. I would expect them to go back to that sometime soon. So we'll see if they listen to you on this round. It does look like they are going to be trying to filter out the mid. And there it is, the op on op battle. XP3 loses it, so the man advantage already going the way of the terrorist side of Affinity. But Desi getting very aggressive inside, but he goes down. Nice flick shot from Fox. Going to decapitate him. He's got Roka to beat, and he takes that fight too. Great opening picks from Fox and Affinity as a whole, and they're looking to get their 13th round on the board here. We do see them get aggressive on the inside. That's going to leave Professor Chaos in a sticky situation, and Fox is going to find a third. He's got one more to beat that storm coming around from the CT spawn. He's not going to be able to find that frag, but Davey on top of Pop Dog takes him down, and that is going to be Affinity picking up their 13th round. But again, Elevate, they've got the bankroll right now, so they will be buying up, and they might have enough money for two in a row here. It's going to be close. Maybe. I mean, if even if they lose this, no matter what, they're gonna they're gonna force by at fourteen. I would assume to prevent uh, getting to tie point as much as possible. But it's gonna come down to this off once again. Cause I mean, I'm gonna just bring it up one more time. We haven't had to call XP3's name out with it yet this half. So again, Arya already pushed out through mid. He's gonna find an aid to his feet, but he gets the shot again on XP3. So these opening frags in the outside yard have really been doing some serious work here for the terrorist side, and we'll see if they can continue to capitalize on it. Their main advantage once again on the affinity side. Well, and look at how look at how passive Desi's playing inside. He's playing far back, just spotting the lower ramp, not even the upper ramp because he only has one flash. He used it there to adjust his position, but he's got to be very, very careful that this hit doesn't come in. And even if it does, he's not playing close enough to have a huge impact unless he just hits some amazing shots. So this is something that Affinity can exploit. And with four members leaning towards the B in her bomb site, it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Professor Chaos gonna go down to the hands of Arya, and now Desi, he's gonna go down to the spray down from Fox. So again. 
this round just completely explodes in the favor of Affinity. They're going to get their 14th. Storm, your last man standing over here by the uh, CTZ. Does yeah, savage the op. It's all Arya getting those opening picks. That's unreal, especially on this map where it forces you to play more passive. It gives the Terrace more room to work without the choke points. It's just brutal to lose those players early on. So we're going to see whether or not he can hold on to this AWP. He's got Abe pushing around from the corner, finds the shot. But now they've been alerted to his position, pushing all the way around from Terrace spawn is Davy. He's got the up in hand. Storm wins that battle as well. He's got one more to beat around the corner. That's Jason R. Pushing up towards Ivy very, very slowly. And Arya, actually, he died with the bomb, so the op gets dropped. Yeah, and that's actually huge because uh, actually the economy He's got for money. Affinity is really strong. But losing that many members, I mean, uh, Elevate's going to buy here. They're going to have yep. to buy on the back of this. They don't want to let him get towards tie point. Probably see some pistols and some armor, maybe a FAMAS or two. They might they feel go. that since they, yeah, they're very late by, actually. Very, very late. But they're not. it's not a full investment, so they feel like with one Colt and an AWP, if they get lucky, they can do some damage. This will be enough to win them the round. So again, we're going to be seeing Arya in a very familiar position, trying to push his way out through mid, and he does that again successfully. He's behind the train. Looking for the pick, but he doesn't have the AWP this time. So that could be something that really plays out here. Him not having that scoped rifle could be detrimental to him. XP3 playing from the backside of the outside yards, trying to find that shot with the AWP. Desi gets spotted out, Storm gets spotted out, and also XP3, so he's already moved his way all the way inside, and Fox going to be in the upper inner. Let's see whether or not XP3 can actually hit these shots. He's playing very wide open. And look at this, they're just going to flash out, push on through. Fox gets blinded, still looking for the opening pick. XP3 misses the shot. Flashbang around the corner. He's going to be able to lay a leg shot down on the Fox. Cleans him up. That bomb is going to get planted out in the inside bomb site. So, again, XP3, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. But his teammate comes and bails him out. Jason R takes him down. Abe going to find Roka. It's a three on two. Make that a two on two. Storm is going to be able to find Abe, but Davey playing sneaky beaky like right now. He's going to come around the corner, finds Professor Chaos, and now it's all on Storm. He does manage to take him down, so they live to fight another day. 12 to 14. Elevate, though, that was a very costly round. They don't have much of an economy whatsoever to work with this next round. But again, they kind of, uh, well, money hasn't been updated just yet, so it is going to be a full buy from the terrorist side. And the economy on the CT is not too bad. Well, and crucially, I mean, think about think about what this round means now. If if Elevate just stops Affinity Cold here, forces a save out of them, I mean, you're going to be sitting at 13-14 with at least one eco round on Affinity, so that's that's going to put them in good position. But, I mean, the real thing, they have to stop Arya with these picks. They either have to kill him or, or just they can't give anything up to him before he executes because he's giving Affinity far too much room to work with when he's getting two to three op kills outside. All right, and I'm being told that Nylum leads 13 to 12 right now, but the action is going on outside. Abe's able to pick off one. Arya as well, but Professor Chaos is going to find two. Let's see if they can continue, continue to capitalize. Desi on the rotation is going to find one. Does tremendous damage to Davy and finally takes him down, and that's going to leave Arya the last man standing. That nade. Professor Chaos with the triple. Nice defense there, preventing the plant as well. So here's going to be that eco at 13 to 14. And that time, it was Professor Chaos. You said he was playing well for him earlier, and he played. He has another great round from there, getting aggressive on the trains. I said they had to have better management of how far they're letting Affinity get down these lanes before they're being fought and before they're being slowed down. Professor Chaos pushes it this time and gets two big kills, stops the aggression, and now we have an eco. And this is a huge round right now. If Affinity steal this one away on the back of an eco round, that's going to be absolutely monstrous. Elevate needs to hold strong, and they need to hold strong with all of their members alive this round, too. And again, they're going to be barreling down inside. Desi caught reloading. They're going to go for this push. Arya leading the charge. Flashbang comes out. They spot out Desi. He's going to be right around the corner. Drops the flashbang. He's going to be able to find one, but he's getting lit up. It looks like we had a spot of leg there, too, so Jason R is going to clean him up with the Glock. Bomb does get planted. Look at the damage being done, though. Roka's going to find one. Professor Chaos already dropped Jason R. And that's going to leave one all the way in the bomb site, just playing on top of the train. Good awareness from Roka. Finds another one. XP3 chimes in with the... Yeah, and this is going to be... This is going to be intense. It's, it's another round where either XP3's got to go big with that up to stop Arya... But this is the situation. I mean, this is the best situation Elevate could have asked for. That it was that one weird buy, that one crucial buy. They put so much faith in XP3 with the op, Roka with a Colt, and the others with pistols to, to do some damage in that round, and they came big for him. 
So again, we're going to see Arya with the AWP. Small armor, no no nades to really work with. He has a decoy. He's going to be going straight out towards mid again, trying to get that opening frag. Let's see whether or not he can make it happen. Not going to spot anything early this round. They smoke him off and flash. This is exactly what they need to do. Well, Desi's getting aggressive over over and inside as well, so he's got to be very careful, and he's going to be going for a fast flank once this execute comes in. Storm finds a little bit of damage onto Arya. The Mollies are going to hold him back. And XP3 finally with the opening frag playing behind the Ivy Train. Going to be able to find that opening pick. Jason R picks up the AWP, a very capable AWP -er himself. And we'll see him try to work his way around in towards that terrorist connector. Right now, lurking up towards inside is going to be Abe. He's going to be trying to find a spot somewhere around there. But Professor Chaos playing on top of the CT spawn train is going to be looking for this peak. He's going to shut him down. So again, we're looking at Elevate with a two-man advantage. In the 14th round of the second half, they could take their first lead of the matchup. The push is going to be coming towards outside. XP3 chimes in again. What a round for him to be stepping up in a big way. Davey's going to find some damage onto him from a nade. Still peeking out. Storm not going to find anything. XP3 getting aggressive with the AWP. Takes down a third, and now that's going to be on Storm, who doesn't find it. XP3 cleans it up. A quad outside. Yeah, huge round for him to show up right there. Saves the day, but you gotta say, that's kind of a weak strategy for Affinity to be playing, and now we're gonna have a, a pause out of them, probably to talk over what they want to do in this last round. Their economy is not that strong, they won't have a great buy, but this entire half, they found some success on entries and in mid-round situations when they've, you know, actually executed off the back of some of Arya's picks, but that round, letting players spread out, letting them do a lot individually, Arya gets picked off, and they have one more player just kind of go for something all on his own, and the inner bomb set a Hail Mary kind of... And in a three on five, you don't really have much left to do with with no utility and 30 seconds left in the round. So nicely done by Elevate there. And now we're going to see what we mentioned earlier is that Auto Sniper come out into Professor Chaos hand. So Elevate have an op on XP3 and an Auto Sniper on uh, on Professor Chaos. So let's see what this Auto Sniper can do. Where is Professor Chaos going to be playing with this when they actually go back live here? Abe yet to buy up, so... And we did we did have another update. It's fifteen to thirteen for Nihilum now. So Close they got up match. to yeah, they got up to fifteen twelve. Mousepaz picks up that thirteenth, and now we'll have to see if they can make that run to force overtime. Much like this match, really. Yeah, two very, very close uh matchups. So again, just waiting for the clock to tick down to go live. Final round of regulation, 15-14, to 14, Elevate on top right now. This is their first lead that they've had all match. Let's see if they can capitalize or if they're going to squander it. And again, that smoke going to come out. Not in the right position. Arya charging right on out, and he's going to find one. And Abe chimes in on the storm, so already Affinity doing work. Roke is going to get caught in the back. He goes down. And that's going to leave it on Desi and Professor Chaos. Professor Chaos down. And it's all on Desi in a 1v5. Looks like we're going to overtime. We waited all night for <laughs> overtime. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. So Affinity comes up with a proper response on a very, very weak buy. They crush him. And, and that's... Uh... What a round by them. That's that's awesome. And especially against that auto sniper, I, I think part of what the reason why that might have entered him is we saw at times Professor Chaos with a Colt able to be so mobile and so much more aggressive with the auto sniper, he's kinda gotta sit back. He couldn't be as effective maybe as he wanted to, so I honestly think that might have hurt him out in the end. Alrighty, so we are into overtime, boys and girls. What a crazy matchup we've got for the only match of the evening, but I'm so glad because now we get to bring you guys a very solid matchup. 16-13 to 13 is the final score in Nylum over Mouse Spaz, so a very, very close matchup there. But we're going to see who's going to take this match. 15 all. First round of overtime. And again, it's going to be a affinity on the offensive, elevate on the defensive. Fox looking for this peek into the inner upper. Not going to find anything just yet. Desi getting aggressive is going to spot him out. Little exchange of damage. Desi on the losing end of that one. There's the peak, though. Storm on top of the train from Ladder Room, or Ivy, pardon me, is going to be able to find a first opening frag. But he is out in the open, and Arya is in Ladder Room, too. Yeah, he's this is going to be this is going to be interplay, and this is going to turn Davey, who's over at Alley. He's just going to be a lurker. He might try and get a little bit more aggressive to find a pick, but actually, look at this. The bomb's going to drop down Ladder, so they saw something outside. It's a fake to enter. Fox needs to come in here and find a kill, but he just gets sprayed down. 
Professor Chaos playing behind the bomb train outside, spraying through blindly through the smoke, not going to find a connection on that. Davey finally coming out from Ivy. He's going to be able to find one, but he's going to press right on in, and Professor Chaos is around the corner. Arya gets the shot in the back. Assist from XP3. Roka chimes in with another one, and we're down to Desi and XP3 versus Davey and Jason R. XP3 over here by Ivy. Still looking for a pick. Going to find it. Davey with only three HP right around the box. XP3 doesn't spot him out, but Desi sure as hell does, and that's going to be Elevate picking up the first round of OT. Costly one for both sides. Yeah, Less, less so for Affinity, though. Well, they did get a bomb plant. That's going to help him out huge. But, uh, yeah, it is costly for the CT side, although he does pick up that, a that AWP, so not a huge deal. But, I mean, that, that actually looked like it should have been a much cleaner sweep for Elevate. Some of the timings really screwed him up. Storm was watching Alley for like 10 seconds and just looked away and, and got timing killed. And same with Professor Chaos inside the bomb site. So Affinity finds those timings just luckily and they open up the bomb site. Almost goes their way. All right, so once again, we're going to be seeing the offensive of Affinity trying to rush out quickly to the outside train yard. They're going to try to make their way down. Abe goes down. Arya did get the opening pick. Fox around behind the smoke. He's going to get sprayed down. Professor Chaos and Storm drop a pair themselves. And Roka again holding strong outside. Davey coming around from Ivy. Going to be able to find one, finds two. He's got Roka up on top of the main train, but he's not going to be able to spot him out just yet. Nate over the top. Not going to find the damage that he's looking for. Only two, chips away nine, and Roka lines it up and knocks him down. So if Elevate can clean sweep this, they're going to be in the driver's seat going into the terrorist side. That was a strategy that Elevate couldn't do with the auto sniper at the last round of regulation was push up so aggressively with two to three members with their Colts on top of the trains on the ground and just shut down these executes and funnel them into choke points uh, right next to that blue train. Uh, with that auto sniper, Professor Chaos had to sit so far back, so it gave a lot of room to work with for Affinity, and that's kind of what gave him the opening to force over time. But now, once again, it's a very weak buy. Three AKs, one scout, one tech nine. Well, we've seen crazier things happen. You saw the broken buy from Elevate capitalize on that to keep things close and again we're going to see some aggression going towards inside desi playing up on top of the train going to lay the nade out that should clean up aria and it does smoke down underneath the bottom desi finds one that's the bomb carrier can't get the frag onto a but roca is right there to retort and now we're down to a two versus four so a good looking round here from elevate trying to sweep this sweep the side fox going to take some shots Davey is struggling to get that bomb down. Fox falls, and Roka, again, three frags for him on the round. He's going to be able to clean that one up in 18 to 15. So match point for Elevate. They got three cracks at it here. Yeah, three cracks with, with players like Roka, Professor Chaos, Desi. I mean, such strong fraggers, able to get the entries if needed. So this is going to be a very tall task for Affinity now. No more mistakes can, can be made by them if they want to come out with a win. They've put together a great match, to be completely honest. And this is the team we talked about. Started the season 0-6, went 4-0 in their, in their past four matches here in the Pro League. And they're showing why, competing with one of the best in North America. And again, we'll see whether or not they can keep the heat on them. Because, again, we talked about how uh, how strong they've been playing in their last four matches. They've gone 4-0 in the ESL, ESCA Pro League. So we'll see if they can bring this one back. But, again, taking Elevate to overtime. Elevate kind of been struggling lately. But, again, not the uh, scoreline that you would typically expect from a team that was one spot out of the ESCA playoffs last season. Yeah. I mean, we, we mentioned, though, they've had some struggles, and it's kind of hard to pinpoint why. I think part of it is just, I mean, they don't do anything tactically that crazy. They, they just trust their fragging ability to gain them map control, and they play very aggressively. And when, when that skill isn't hitting, it's kind of like, kind of at times when you see envious struggle in matches, and, and not to compare the two teams in terms of their overall level, but more stylistically, you know, it's because some of those frags that their players like NBK and Shox can get, uh, among others, you know, Kiyoshima, all, some of those frags don't go their way, and then it kind of hinders what they wanted to do, and you're kind of seeing that out of Elevate a little bit at the moment. Yeah, XP3 is all being relatively quiet in that opening uh, regulation, but he's kind of picked things up a little bit. He's sitting at 17 and 26. He's the bottom of his team, but right now it's really Roka that's carrying with the... Uh, Professor Chaos and Desi close in tow. Storm not doing a bad job sitting at 19 and 21. But then again, the Affinity side, you've got a cluster of players. Seven frags separate the top and bottom, so they're all equally contributing. Arya at the top of that with 26 and 23. Smokes rain down over the top. Roka's already worked his way around. Jason R could get caught out here. He's up on top of the train, but no. Abe is going to be there to bail him out. Takes him down. Nice shot from the Hyper Beast. 
And Roka down and out, and that's an important frag here for Affinity. The top fragger off the board already. Stop, 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 stop. Again? It said, yeah, you're good now. God damn it, man. I don't know what's going on. I apologize, guys. Looks like it's going to be an inner hit, though, from Elevate. They're going to go ahead and drop the smoke down onto Sidewalk. And Arya, he was so strong playing from that spot behind Pop Dog inside. He's going to resign that position and push his way around towards the bomb train. Molly out around the corner. That's not going to be on the mark. And still they're, they're, stagnant. They're, yeah, they're waiting for the smoke for Desi to clear in the ladder room so that he can try and find an opening to get them a pick to make a rotation occur. Because right now there's two players inside, and that's going to be very, very difficult for them to hit on that bomb site. It's going to be Presser Chaos and Desi really trying to find an entry outside to make the rotations happen. And Jason R being on top of this train outside is going to come under fire here very, very shortly. They go for the shoulder peak. Jason R gets a little too aggressive, and PC makes him pay. Davey, though, is going to be able to go right back into Desi. Professor Chaos still looking for one outside. They're trying to pull the rotation, and they have, so they've only got one to compete with inside. That's going to be Aria. He's playing close under the ladder behind the boxes. Storm's going to find the nice wall bang onto him, so that's going to open things up nicely for him, but Professor Chaos goes down, and Storm shortly after. So Affinity picks up their 16th round. They need to make two more good if they want to tie this up and go to double OT. Yeah, a nice round there from Affinity, and we're not seeing an AWP. Uh, there it is, second round. So basically, what they what they wanted to do is the economy comes into play with max rounds three and ten thousand dollars. Even if they win that, but they lose the AWP, it, it's such a such a hindrance on the economy. They wanted to save it for this second round, so they wouldn't be immediately just economically in trouble, and that would hinder their ability to win the overtime rounds. So again, smokes go up over the trains outside. Flashes follow as well, but this time the hit's going to be coming from Ivy. And look at this. Nobody is watching their backs at Ivy. They're going to be able to sprint right on out here. They might catch About. No, he turns his attention over towards that area. Jason R is going to fall back as well. Volley around the corner. Abe finds one. Abe doesn't find two. Storm goes right back into him. But Jason R on the flank finds one. It's an even trade now, two and two. Fox from Heaven's going to spot one. It's going to come under fire from Professor Chaos, but can't find the frag. And Fox is going to find another one, so we're down to a three versus one. Can Professor Chaos go huge this round? The hitboxes are skewed up on top of the ladder there, so he's not going to be able to find the frag onto Fox playing from Heaven Ladder right now. The one he's really got to watch out for is Davey, who's over here in Z. The other two are one tappable. And Smoke's going to cordon things off. He might be able to get the drop on Davey over here by Z. Let's yeah, see what happens. Playing so passively, turns the corner. He's gonna preempt it, and he does get the headshot. He's been dinked in the process. He knows one's above him, and he runs through the smoke, looking backwards, but can't find it. Fox peeks out. Big round from Fox too. Three frags on the outside train yard. It's gonna shut it down, and now Elevate's gonna be on a very difficult buy. Yeah, one more chance to end this overtime here, or else we're going to double. This is the match that never ends. All right, so here we go. Last round of the first OT. And again, Affinity trying to stay in this one. They need one more round to pick up and keep this one alive. And it's a quick push coming towards outside. Again, the nade's going to get dropped right on their feet. And Jason R is going to be able to line up one. Going to be looking for some more outside. Drops the flashbang out. XP3 is able to drop one. Storm with a nice shot. But now it's really going to be on Davey. Storm with another one. Davey does drop the bomb carrier, though. We're down to a 2v3. Arya does have the AWP. He's still looking for the cross in towards the bomb site. He's not going to be able to find anything just yet. They are still trying to push up. XP3 right around the corner. Not going to be able to locate that. And Davey's gotten, him, gotten himself into a really good position, but he's got to be careful. That fire burns. Going to be able to peek out. Roka gets the shot. This could be it. Arya 1v3. Finds one and done. Roka survives with one HP. It's over 19 to 16 or 19 to 17 for Elevate. What a hell of a match.